What is encryption? Basically, a way to put information in code. The only person who can read the information is the person with the correct key. To anyone else, it looks like a random series of letters, numbers, and characters. Encrypting data is a good way to protect sensitive information. What is sensitive information exactly? If loss of confidentiality, integrity, or availability causes serious, severe, or even catastrophic effects, then that information is sensitive. Some examples are grant applications, intellectual property, personally identifiable information, PII, performance ratings, financial information, and more. When do you need to use encryption? First, whenever sensitive information is being sent from one entity to another, for instance, via email. Second, whenever sensitive information is being stored, meaning when it's at rest on devices like laptops, phones, servers, USB drives, etc. If you're not sure if your device is encrypted, speak to your ISSO. PII and sensitive data must not be stored on personally owned equipment. When data needs to be encrypted in transit, that responsibility lies with you. If you include PII or sensitive data in an email message, that message must be encrypted. Is encryption like digital signatures, you ask? They are similar, but they have different purposes. Encryption is for confidentiality, concealing the content of the message. Digital signatures are for integrity and authenticity, to verify who sent the message and that the content is still the same as when it was sent. Encryption and digital signatures can be used separately, but you can also sign an encrypted message. So how do you encrypt a message? You can either send the message via the Secure Email File Transfer Service, SET, or you can use the functions within your email client to encrypt your message. In your email client, open a new email, go to the Options tab, and then click the Encrypt button. You can also choose the Sign button to digitally sign your message in addition to encrypting it. After you click Send, you will be prompted to enter your PIN. If you have any questions about setting up encryption, or how to encrypt your messages, contact your ISSO or the IT service desk. Remember, protecting sensitive information begins with you, so be sure to use encryption.